and I asked them to make it modular. And so the boxes here, uh, to me, evoke uh, the kinds of templates I've, I'm very comfortable using as a scientist whenever I make a presentation in PowerPoint or whenever I make a conference poster. There's always a set of, you know, there's always an area that's dedicated, you know, a sort of fixed area where you put in your content and you always sort of refresh the template from time to time. So I wanted to riff off of that idea and then make the site modular. So the modularity is best seen in the resizing of this grid. So we call this space here the grid. So you could show the, the, the resorting by just simply changing the browser size. Um, you can also do it manually by this kind of resizing. And so what it will do is collect these content streams over time. And there's two content streams here. An orange uh, label basically my internal scientific content. So that would be blog posts, other things. And the nice thing about the site is it has this sorting function. So if you click on the little badge here, it will swoosh away all the other stuff and just show you all the blog posts. And over time, this is an archive, so we'll start to accumulate many of these blog posts. And the nice thing is that everything here has a time. So click on to this to go to the single page, and then we can really sort of see the power, I think, of the site in terms of, first of all, you can see that you can sort of read it on any platform. So we wanted the site to be agnostic to device, you wanted to be able to, to experience it on a browser or, or an iPad or whatever you have. And then we can take advantage, obviously you can do all the sharing you want, you can do all the discussing you want. The site here is powered by, dis, uh, by Discuss, this, this uh, comment uh, functionality that seems to be pretty popular nowadays. Um, and it also pulls in information, for example, these metrics. So the big thing about open science, so again, this is all in the service of this open science mission. And so, for example, you can see here that this site, for example, Figshare, keeps track of the number of times something is viewed and the number of times something is shared. So this is a, a, a set of files that I shared, and I sort of gave it a title here uh, because I'm actually trying to um, elicit conversation. And the nice thing is you can click on this, and we can show a nice little slideshow. You can see my science for itself. Mm -hmm. and, my science is, and my science is open for critique and discussion from, from anybody, from my peers, um, but it's also there you know, to, to take place in public, this debate. And so people who are in the public who don't know anything about my science, they can sort of see if I have a reputation based on, based on the feedback I get from the community. So I just really, in the end, wanted a, a platform to, to catalyze online scientific discussion in, in, a, in a way that I just feel like it's been 10 years overdue. And the promise of, of online scientific discussion with the internet really hasn't been realized in academia. I don't